In this week's Parsha, among many other items, there is also the mitzvah and many mitzvahs of celebrating all the holidays, the biblical holidays, of course, including also the holiday of Pesach, the holiday of Passover, which we just celebrated a month ago. In regards to the mitzvah of Pesach, there is a very unique and only time that we have such a case in the Torah that the Torah addresses that there was a group of people who could not bring the offering of Passover because they were impure. And to bring the Korban Pesach, the offering, one needs to be pure and holy. So they came arguing to Moshe Rabbeinu, to Moses, why should we miss out? We could not bring it. What now? We missed the opportunity. To which Moshe brought them the message from Hashem and said whoever was not able to do it a month ago should do it now. Many laws are given to us around this Yom Tev or on this holiday. Amongst them a difference between the first Pesach and Pesach Sheni and the second Pesach. The first Pesach when we bring the offering of, the, the, uh, of Pesach, we cannot have any chometz. It has to be chometz free. Pesach, uh, Sheni, we bring the offering while we have chometz in the house. There is many lessons around it. And amongst them, and the most and first and foremost one is that it is never too late. This is the one place in the Torah that the Torah is teaching us. If you missed an opportunity and you care, to the extent that you come to Hashem and you say, Lomo Nigora, why should we miss out? Then Hashem gives you the opportunity to make up for it. So, happy Pesach, a happy Chometz. We could make up for what we missed yesterday, never too late. Good Shabbos, Shabbat Shalom.